If you listen all around me, you'll notice that something's off. Other than the sounds of the animal life, this entire island is absolutely silent. Not a single person seems to be outside. No cars on the road, all boats are docked, and the last flight to land or leave the airport nearby landed or left yesterday. This is a quick story why I'm filming in the middle of the road, why I shouldn't be making this video, and how this all ties into the shirt I'm wearing and ultimately the ability for people to know if they're happy or not. Right now, I'm in Indonesia on the Hindu island of Bali, and today is March 22nd, 2023. Nyepi, as it's called. The Balinese Day of Silence. It started at 6 a.m. this morning and will end at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Nyepi is a day reserved for self-reflection, and so anything that doesn't support this is restricted. No fires, no lights, no working, no entertainment or pleasure, no traveling, and for some, no talking or eating at all. Even TVs, radios, internet access is slowed or shut down altogether. Non-Hindu residents and tourists are not exempt from these restrictions, although you can do whatever you want to in your own space. The whole island is dead silent in every way, and probably the animals are a bit confused. For someone that grew up in a very different country like myself, it's pretty strange to experience. But when you look at it sort of objectively, it's interesting that shutting down a country in such an organized way might be one of the most individualistic things you could really do to support your effort of sitting with yourself and your own thoughts and just reflecting on your life. It's kind of beautiful to see such a unified effort to force the individual to sit with the individual. Something that would have maybe small but certainly have clear benefits for everyone. It's a fascinating thought to imagine what that would mean for other countries of the world like mine if they had this kind of annual practice. It sort of seems like countries or people don't really do these kinds of things without a religious influence of some sort. And I suppose I can understand that, but the act and benefits are certainly not reserved for religion. I won't attempt to do it here, but I think a case could be made that this sort of thing could just be a really positive thing to do for people regardless of creed. In fact, there's probably a short list of religion is a good reason to do it, but the philosophy is just sound by itself. <laughs> For me, I wear silly outfits like this because at some point I reflected on myself and thought, why not? In spite of where I am or what business I'm doing, I'm usually wearing bright colors with foods or animals or something like that. But if I didn't reflect on it by myself, maybe that individual part of me might not have come out, and I'd probably be less happy and more black and white for it. Honestly, if I really respected the day, I suppose I would never have made this video to begin with, so I should probably get back to doing nothing, and I'll end just with this. Tomorrow in Bali is the day of relighting the fire, their calendar's New Year's, where families and friends gather to ask for forgiveness from one another and life resumes with probably one of the loudest days of the year. The earliest case of Nyepi dates back to 78 AD, but likely it was going on even before then. Maybe someday in the future, other countries of the world could have their 78 AD. It seems like it was a year with good ideas.